Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, and normally I try to give you tangible tips that I've already tested out. So with this video, I'm doing it a little bit differently, and what I'm talking about is how to rethink trailers. I've seen a lot of articles online, and I, I've also seen people complain on social media, as well as anecdotally, my friends, whenever we go out to movies, that trailers give away the funniest bits in terms of comedies, they give away too much in terms of the plot, so you essentially know the movie and can predict all the supposed twists and turns. And so in reaction to that, I had this idea. It's not necessarily that novel because whenever I buy Blu-rays, and yes, I still buy Blu-rays, the reason I buy them is because there's the behind the scenes. And I want to learn about the filmmaking aspect of it. And in the old days, they used to be wonderful. Now they're kind of really more just promotional material for the movie that doesn't reveal much but it's like you know we're excited to bring this movie so forth and in looking at those it's like well why can't you sort of take that and use it as the trailer generally those ones tend to be about five minutes on the blu-rays so they have to be trimmed down a, a little bit but why not right that way for, especially for the tentpole movies you're gonna get us excited and seeing the actors and kind of talk about it with inserted with some footage from the movie along with some behind the scenes stuff if we're really at the end of the a trailer is just a marketing tool for the movie and if they're already making these promotional materials why not just why not cut the trailer out and instead use that as the promotional aspect that way you don't give away too much uh, but it gets people excited to want to see something um, so those, those are my two cents in terms of trailers and so forth, but uh, I, I'm very curious to know a couple of things. Number one, do you see trailers as a problem like the people that I'm talking about? Also, you know, what do you think the viability of this is? You know, not necessarily will it happen, but in the sense of would this work for you? If you saw this at a movie theater instead of like a narrative trailer, would this hook you? I'm very curious because um, in a lot of ways, I like to try this out with any movie that I do. Now, granted, I don't produce that many movies, but um, but I think it'd be a fun thing to do. And I think in terms of where the industry's headed, I think we always have to keep evolving. And this could be a way for movies to be exciting again. And, you know, within that the, the, the marketing material if we're going to call it that they could also have a button of like hey so come out to the movie to see it because if you know if we're looking at the movie industry is kind of let's say on a decline well this could be a direct like call to action of like hey get out to the movie and especially if people are watching trailers online then then boom they have to you know, there would be that call to action for them to actually go somewhere to the movie. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the state of uh, trailers in the movie industry and how to update them, if you will. Uh, but anyway, I'm Phil Svitek on social media, and by all means, please write a comment uh, in terms of what you think. Bye.